Today I was finally able to confirm that I fixed my garbage Moser axles. The Ford 88 that I got from the junkyard for 200 bucks, smooth as silk, 80 miles an hour down the highway. And these Mosers at 45 miles an hour started to vibrate. I had to put them on a lathe at work and machine them myself because Moser was zero help through this process. Luckily for me, I'm able to use the lathe at work for free, uh, but it did cost me another 100 bucks in uh, tooling and stock from McMaster. So if you're curious, that's 616 bucks to take a $200 axle and make it worse. Thank you for nothing. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Okay, these Moser axles don't have enough pilot to actually work. Uh, this pilot is too small for the Explorer brake hub, so it wobbles back and forth a little bit. And this one isn't tall enough for the wheel to pilot on it because of the counterbore of the factory Beretta wheel. So the wheel wobbles back and forth. They tell me they can't fix it and there's nothing they can do for me. So that wheel pilot is only straight for 120 thousandths. Whereas this one from Motorsport Tech is 350 thousandths. You can see that the spot where there's no witness mark is taller than that pilot that's in there. So the spacers that I had were an inch thick. And I got a little bit of rubbing on like off camber uh, driveways and stuff like my driveway. By getting these dual drilled, I could run these lug bolts instead of the studs with this spacer and solve my clearance issue for regular street driving. <coughs> and then I can eliminate them completely to run my 5x100 drag wheels straight to the axle and make them fit. Or the 5x115 pattern that I have here is for those minivan wheels that I want to make beadlocks out of. So in theory, this would have solved all my problems. But I did make my own drill guide at work. And uh, this is going to be the 5x100 pattern here. So I'm going to drill a little pilot with those. And then take them back to work at the drill press and uh, finish them up. My sort of interference fit here on the brake register fits freaking perfect. Wasn't that tough. You'd think Moser would be able to do it. Okay, now I'll finish them up on the drill press to be clearance holes for the M12 lug bolts. Okay, and here you can see the problem. Moser tells me there is no step, but there is a definite step there. I measured these, and this was 2800, and this was 2777 or something like that. <clears throat> and the Moser ones are undersized because they fit the wheel pilot, not the brake pilot. Yeah, now I got a 5x100 pattern front and back, deburred both sides. All right, my cheap spacers do pilot on the wheels. So hopefully I can make this work. I'm going to throw those Moser axles in, and we'll see if I get a nasty vibration or not. I don't know, man. The spacers still pilot in the wheels, but I still hate this. Yeah, this is way better fitment. So this is an inch further in by bolting directly to the axle instead of using these adapters like I had before. And uh, this actually clears beautifully now. Everywhere. Lots of room everywhere. Yeah, that fitment is now freaking mint. Yeah, so this definitely vibrates with the new axles, and I'm not even going fast at all. All right, I pulled these custom Moser axles out so we can get the goddamn things fixed. <clears throat> Machine this down. Gonna take this down to 1-800, I think it was, and then make a cap on here that actually fits what we need to do. happy with that. I was a little too tight on the press fit try last time. This one on there really nice and I also use this Loctite 609. Okay got this fitting on here. Perfect. <clears throat> a little bit of scrap.
Here is my Explorer rotor thickness, which is set up right here at the stop. So we reset the stop, and then this just fits in there. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. About half a thou. I can live with that. Moser's brake pilot size was off by 27 thousandths, and the wheel pilot didn't even engage the wheel, so... Uh, should be a lot better off. The next project is to take the spline in and shorten it by half an inch. Okay, I put a stock axle in here to test out my uh, genius idea of shortening these, and this machine's mean. I don't think I'm going to screw around with the Moser ones. That's probably something that would work, but I really don't want to screw them up, so I'm probably going to leave them alone. Okay, I'm test fitting a stud in here because these... Uh, Axles are just threaded, <clears throat> which is why I can use these to run two different bolt patterns at the same time. Uh, but I don't have my bead locks done yet. And boy, it'd be nice to have studs, uh, but this is almost the longest stud that I can get, like on McMaster. So that becomes a problem when I need to use these. Woohoo! That wheel pilot fitment is mint. Okay, axles all buttoned up. Let's get it on the ground and see if it vibrates. Alright, 69 and the axles don't shake. A great success! First one sold going out the door.